G'day, my name's Nikki Perrot. I'm a jazz bassist and vocalist. And I'd like to talk to you about some of the fundamentals of jazz bass playing. We all know that the blues are a big part of being able to play jazz. But another uh, sequence of chords that you do come across a lot is called the rhythm changes. Now, what are rhythm changes? Basically, they're built on the chords of I Got Rhythm which is an old standard that George Gershwin wrote. He wrote this composition that became very popular for jazz musicians to use and play songs over them. So they're basically one, six, two, five. Okay, one, six, two, five progression with a bridge. So I'm going to play you an example of rhythm changes in the key of B flat, 32 bars, walking bass. So you can hear the changes. I'm gonna do it this tempo first. One, two, a one, two, three. Now this is the bridge. Basic 32 bars, rhythm changes. Now, sometimes with rhythm changes and uh, playing in a band, you'll often find that there are some jazz tunes written over rhythm changes that are quite fast. So it actually might be helpful to just raise the metronome marking up a few notches and practice rhythm changes at a tempo that might happen at a jam session, you don't know. So let's try a fast tempo. A one, two, three, uh. So that's B flat rhythm changes. Maybe you also want to practice them in C. Maybe you also want to practice them in F or even G. Generally, they're the keys that would be called for rhythm changes. So that's basically it. 32 bars, A, A, B, A format, 1625 chord changes with a bridge. And that's your rhythm changes, an important part of playing jazz. Thank you, I'm Nikki Perrot.